Femphigus vulgaris versus Bal's femphigoid. These are both blistering skin conditions, but there are some key differences between them that we need to know. Throughout this video, keep this image in mind. This image shows the cell junctions and their connections. And desmosomes and hemidesmosomes are respectively what are damaged in these disorders. So femphigus vulgaris, desmosomes. And the way I remember this is that it has mucosal involvement because in the name it has vulgaris. And you say vulgar things with your mouth. Now this is IgG against desmosomes. They can be more specific in the vignette and say desmogline, which is a component of it. Or they can be more general and say anchoring junctions. But any of these words can be used to describe the IgG against what it is. Um, and this will have a positive Nikolsky sign. So when you, when you put lateral friction on the blister, it will shear. This is unlike Ball's femphigoid, which will have a negative Nikolsky sign. And Ball's femphigoid, which affects hemidesmosomes, are essentially IgG against hemidesmosomes. But they can also be called integrants, which is what they attach to, or anchoring filaments.